Wedding videos for as low as 100,000 Naira? Gusto got you covered. Call 080-613-44639 or 080-644-06274. Terms and conditions apply. Hey everyone, welcome to Gusto Reaction on Gusto TV Africa. My name is Emma and the house may have done the first. Yo guys, what up? Alright guys, I'm going on to what we have for you on today's reaction. I want to say thank you for all the for us here on the channel, the mm -hmm. likes, the comments, the sharing, the calling out. <laughs> we see all of it. I really do appreciate you. Oh, and yes, if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, do not forget to subscribe yeah, and yeah. also do not forget, you know, to click on the post notification bell. Fair so as to when we drop, you know, new content and new videos for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so today we have Peter and Paul. Then be one, then will be two. Yes, yeah. All right, you know why these guys are having their old back and forth? I was like mm. one person that was really praying for them to, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, <I> want you. <laughs> Yeah, you I actually about? said, Oh God of twins. You know me, I want to have I want to have a Jima twins, a Beji. So boy, I was saying oh girl, boy, girl. <laughs> anyone boy, boy, but just girl, twin girl. actually. Wow. So maybe I'll just have you no know, the first set to enter concept too. But anyway, ah. I <laughs> wow. I just want to enter twice. I just come outside. Wow. <laughs> but then All right. God just, with Amen. <laughs> so but then I was actually, you know praying for these guys to get mm. back together and sort out their whole beef. It was a whole lot of back and forth. The first time when they actually, you know, grew apart, yeah. they had to come back again. Yeah. But then Peter felt like, you know what, I can't take it. It's enough. Let's just mm. go. And they went their separate ways. Mm. Then we had Mr. P. Then we also had Wood, Wood Boy. Boy. Yeah. And, you know, and it looked like Wood Boy was doing a whole lot for himself that mm. period because he was always dropping songs back to yeah. back. But then Mr. P was getting more endorsement deals. Mm. So why do you think it was actually like that? I feel I feel like it's someone who is actually always there, you know. Mr. P was dropping songs. Yeah. But then Wood Boy had more hit songs. Mm. But then Wood Boy was not getting endorsement deals as Mr. P was getting yeah, at that point. The thing, the thing is everyone has um different business mindsets. Uh everyone has different connect. <clears throat> the link to endorsement is not even by what you do, it's by you know, being with the right people, knowing the right people, and mm -hmm. then it's like, ah, that guy, don't worry, he's, he can do this for you, and then that's it. It's, it really does not depend on, oh, what you've done, or how far you've gone. That Kizana is a perfect example. You never go in the endorsement deal, not until, you know, it got signed to um, Polo, and then mm -hmm. a few months afterwards, psh, two Double, double, <laughs> yeah. And I start came into the industry, I'm in, 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 in I'm, how many years in the shop? Well, in, the, in her first year, she got Pepsi endorsement deal already. So it's basically not about how long or how well you have been around it's just about knowing the right people and then getting the right connect and boom you're getting but there were talks that it was actually because of peter's wife well that's that's a connect because mm. there's somebody always in the picture that would recommend that would say oh no give it to this guy that would they, so there's always a need for a connect in all of those things all right so talking about reconciliation you know mm. this time around <clears> these guys felt like okay do you know what let's just put that beef aside let's put yeah. everything aside and just you know make things work mm -hmm. and they came out to say you know what guys we decided to put all yeah, our defenses yeah, outside birthday. yeah and it was really beautiful like i was literally i watched that video <laughs> and that, that, that was the time they, i watched they that video money yeah they were like okay let us show them that two is better than As it. oh god <laughs> but then if it was back then when we still had like p square p square p square mm. because they were like the top guys back yeah, then if it was yeah. when we had like p square p square definitely we would have come one, one, one thing is uh for I, I i wouldn't think so if probably they were the first to make it big and then mm. and, uh, but then so far that the, so far the video has already gone i had to do that one i don't mm. think another person would get as much balls as the video got because uh like oh you they copy the video that's like mm. what everybody would start to say at that time yeah so guys p square is back no more mr p no more mm -hmm. boy p square is back we yeah. activated i know they've actually shut down a couple of places since yeah, they yeah. got back they went to what's this name of this african country you know they have a lot of fans in this uh, african, african countries, countries yes, like yes it yes. was they shut down yeah, a stadium Kenya, tanzania like name it all over a lot of places in africa uh during during the time of the old concert mm -hmm. and everything i think they went to tanzania the tanzania okay one of those countries and that they shut down was, the stadium. was total shutdown is this it in was... zimbabwe i don't know <laughs> One of those African countries was, it was a crazy. mad, mad, it mad shutdown. Crazy. And then their concert in Lagos also mm -hmm. uh, reactivated the concert was yeah. really, really amazing. Like, yo, these guys have core fans that really love their music. Back again. No matter they, they, how they, long they, the music has been. Like, yeah. one of the best mm -hmm. the music do out of Africa. And they actually have this evergreen song. Like, whenever you play their yeah. song, it looks like, okay, these guys just dropped the song mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have P-Square back and they've decided they've got something amazing for mm. us. And they're saying they're going on tour. 
on a world world tour. tour. Peace Square reunion. North America, world tour. Europe, UK, Middle East, Asia, Africa. Wait till they this North America where everybody didn't go like this. North America, <laughs> North America comprised of the US and then Canada. Like mm. you know, a couple of states in those places. So they're like, okay, North America. Uh well it, music has really penetrated to the US um ever since the era of essence, love wanting thing, you know, uh Peru, we love global songs, smashing and Growing, growing beyond beyond the shores of Nigeria, Afrobeat, and, and and you know it's about time that okay, yo, let's take it to these guys. We have, mm-hmm. we also have a lot of Nigerians in those places, so why not? Nigerians will always turn up for Nigerians any day, any time. We like partying, we like having fun, so definitely people would def 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 turn up. But then before we even go into <coughs> this, name like five of P Square songs that you actually love, or uh, that were hits back to back back then. Me. Hey, you get us they do. Hey, um, <laughs> yeah, one. Testimony. That was, uh, that was yeah, like one, the song they sang when they, when they came back. Mm-hmm. I think they had money too. Uh, chop yeah. my money, that one. They okay. Chop my money, and then mm-hmm. they had um, um, I like it. Is that do me? Roll it. Te- Roll it. Te- yeah. Te- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then which one? I said five. That's, that's five already now. No. I said do me uh-huh. testimony. Chop my money. Uh-huh. Roll, Roll it. it. Uh-huh. Um, which other one? Which other one? Which other one? You don't like temptation. Okay, temptation. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what comes to my mind. All right, temptation. All right, now these guys have said to go on tour, right? Would you say this is actually like a bad move or a good move? Are you are you seeing them shutting down, you know? And so let's dis- let's let's just assume that they decide to do arenas now. Mm. Do you see them shutting down these arenas or selling out these locations? Well, um, it is very possible. Nothing is impossible anymore with Afrobeats because mm. I really can can tell with things happening right now. Thames, you know, is one of like is the second African artist to be on number one at autumn bread so like mm. no one saw that coming mm. and it's, it's it's just crazy that she didn't even sing in, on the song but then uh back to them peace square uh if they can shut down arenas very possible uh but for, for i think that they would need to probably drop one or two songs before this talk commences Comes, oh. uh they've not they didn't they've not released the dates it's gonna start yeah but then i feel that at least we need to get something fresh for them mm. that would also help you know ginger and brighten up the whole um tour because if you look at the way artists run their p uh once they have a buzzing song and you know they decide okay let me leverage on this and then let me go on tour mm. and you know do that one uh if it's a good or bad move i definitely um would agree that it is a good move because uh no matter how small they're going to make more money from from the tour people will definitely come out for them people will show love uh fans fans and music lovers that are Love P Square from the days of the oldies. You know, they would definitely come out. My dad was excited. <laughs> My dad was <laughs> so excited. It's definitely a good move. A good yeah, move. definitely a good move. But then, so we should expect to like shutdowns, you know, selling mm, out and people coming very through possible. for P Square. God, I'm excited. I'm not going to hide this one. Are you I love P Square. If you're going to have it in Nigeria, I'm raising money to share Jack. <laughs> Hey, uh, when money comes, I'm going to go. But then, but then, but then, I'm actually excited that this guy is actually back and they're doing, you know, a whole lot for themselves. So yes, we're expecting nothing but the P Square vibe, mm-hmm. selling out, shutting down. Yes. So yes, this is a good move for us. You know, seeing these guys come together, it's okay. Let's. But then, don't you, do you think it's too late? Because right now we have a whole lot. We have Davido, we have Whiskey, we have Brenna, we have um, CK, we have Omale, we have Arasta. The thing is, even even as as much as we have a lot of artists right now, there's always space for anybody. Everybody. Mm. Uh, was it not last year? Was he saying, "Oh, we have this, we have that," and then in in a couple of months, we've seen Ashake blow up, we've seen um T Y Blaze blow up, we've seen um Magics, you know, doing fairly well, and then there's a new uh, Boy Spice from Maybe. Yeah. And so there there will always be newer artists. So the sky is big enough for everybody. Mm. Like everyone will always gets. One or two things um to do at, at some point go be square go be square <laughs> okay. so tell us in the comment section if you think this is actually a good move or a bad move from p square you know deciding to go on a walk tour hmm. they're coming to your city so just tell us in the comment section guys and we in the comment section responded some of the comments if not all we see all you do for us here on the channel and we love you all, all right guys bye for now my name is Imar.